Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on evolution and this is the part one of this series of videos on evolution topics. So let's start the question answer session on this evolution topic and the first question of this video that is Lamarck's argument in support of theory of evolution was centered around option A use and disuse of organs option b survival of the fittest option c continuous variations or option d all of the above and the right one about the lamarck's, three, lamarck's theory is option a that is use and disuse of organs is the lamarck's argument in support of theory of evolution okay so here we will see lamarck's theory of evolution also known as the theory of inheritance of acquired characters states that organisms change their behavior in response to environmental changes so this behavior modification leads to changes in their organs which are then passed on to their offspring so this is the main theory of lamarck's on evolution so let's move on to question number two that is Charles Darwin knew of mutation and he called that mutation is option A continuous variation, option B discontinuous variation, option C sports or option D none of the above. So which one is the correct one? The correct one is option C that is sports. So Charles Darwin <coughs> called the mutations within the animals is known as sports okay so here we will see charles darwin called mutation sports in his 1868 book the variation of animals and plants under domestication okay so the next one is question number three it is according to lamarck the presence of Vestigial organ in animals was due to option A change of habits, option B environmental reaction, option C continuous disease or option D inheritance of acquired character. So which one is correct about the Lamarck? Lamarck's the pres uh, Lamarck <coughs> theory on presence of vestigial animal sorry vestigial organ in animals. So the right answer is option C that is continuous disease sorry continuous disuse so here we will see vestigial organs and uh, are organs tissues or cells in a body which are no more functional in the the way they were in their ancestral form of the trait that is the vestigial organs okay so according to Lamarck, the presence of vestigial organs in animals was due to continuous disuse. Okay. So let's move on to question number four. That is Darwin's theory is also known as option A, germinal selection theory, option B, pangenesis uh, theory or option C, special creation theory or option D, spontaneous generation theory. So the right one is option B that is pangenesis theory. So Darwin's theory is also known as pangenesis theory. So here we will see in 1868 Charles Darwin proposed the pangenesis theory which is a developmental theory of heredity. The theory suggests that every cell in an organism emits small particles called gamelules. So which circulate throughout the body and eventually gather in the gonads. So these gametes are then united with both somatic and germ cells contributing heritable information to the gametes. Okay. So this is all about pangenesis theory proposed by Darwin's. Okay. So let's move on to question number five that is which one of the following is considered as evolutionary force and the options are option a inheritance of acquired characters option b speciation option c mutation or option d natural selection and the right one is option 
D that is natural selection so natural selection is considered as evolutionary force okay so next is question number six natural selection means option a better adaptability option b elimination of less adapted option c better survival or option d all of the above so the right one is option a that is better adaptability so natural selection means better adaptability here we will see natural selection is a process that allows living organisms to adapt and change in response to environmental conditions so it is a key mechanism of evolution which is the change in heritable traits over generations that is known as natural selection so here we will see the question number seven according to neo darwinism which one is responsible for evolution of organisms and the options are option a mutations option b natural selection option c mutations and natural selection or option d either mutations or natural selection so the correct answer about the neo darwinism is option c that is mutation and natural selection so according to new Dar darwinism the mutation and natural selection is responsible for evolution of organisms so here we will see new darwinism is a modern version of darwin's theory of evolution that combines mendel's theory of inheritance with darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection okay so that genetic variation is accounted so the next is question number eight the key point sorry the key point in lamarck's view of organic evolution is option a origin of species option b inheritance of acquired characters option c overpopulation or option d natural selection so the right answer is option b that is inheritance of acquired characters so the key point in lamarck's view of organic evolution is inheritance of acquired characters okay let's move on to question number nine that is the most important requirement of evolution is option a adaptation option b mutation option c sexual reproduction or option d development abnormality so the right answer about the most important requirement of evolution is option b that is mutation so mutation is the most important requirement of evolution okay so the next is question number 10 which of the following was the contribution of hugo de varis so, which was the contribution of Hugo de Varis? Uh, the options are option A, theory of mutation, option B, theory of natural selection, option C, law of dominance, or option D, theory of acquired character. And the right one about the contribution of Hugo de Varis is option A, that is theory of mutation. So, here we will see a 1901. Hugo de Varis proposed the mutation theory of evolution. The theory states that living organism can develop changes, changes to their genes that greatly alter the organism. So these changes are passed down to the next generation and lead to the development of new species. So this is the theory of mut sorry, mutation theory of evolution proposed by Hugo de Varis. So next is question number 11 that is which law of evolution states that warm blooded mammals of hot and humid areas have abundant melanin pigment and the options are option A Dolo's law, option B Gloger's law, option C Cope's law or option D Gauss law and the right one is option B that is Gloger's law. So here we will see Gloger's law that is Gloger's law is an eco, uh, ecographical 
so sorry eco geographical rule that states that more pigmented form of a species of endotherms are found in more humid environment that is the rule of bloggers so this law of evolution states that warm blooded mammals of hot and humid areas have abundant melanin pigment that is the bloggers law so let's move on to question number 12 that is natural selection acts on an organisms option a recessive homozygous allele option b phenotype option c combined genotype or option d dominant allele so the natural selection acts on an organisms option b organisms phenotypes so natural selection acts on an organisms phenotype so what is phenotype phenotype rep refers to an individual's observable traits such as height eye color and blood type these are the phenotypes okay so the next is question number 13 that is directional selection favors option a both extreme forms of a trait option b intermediate forms of a trait option c one extreme form over the other extreme form or form and over intermediate forms of a trait or all option d that is all of the above so which one is directional selection favors and the right one is option c where one extreme form over the other extreme form and over intermediate form of traits so especially we can here see that directional selection is a mode of negative natural selection in which an extreme phenotype is favored over other phenotype causing the allele frequency to shift over time in the direction of that phenotype so an example of directional selection is giraffe neck length so here we can see the environment create a selection pressure that favor giraffe with longer necks so this adaptation allowed giraffe to reach the topmost lift to avoid food competition this type of direction uh, direction selection in directionally is known as directional selection okay which is a negative natural selection so the next one is question number 14 the steady increase in body size that occurred during evolution of the horse is an example of option a disruptive selection option b directional selection option c stabilizing selection or option d none of the above and the right one is option b that is directional selection so the steady increase in body size that occurring occurred during evolution of the horse is an example of directional selection okay understand let's move on to question number 15 that is the most recent and direct prehistoric ancestor of present man was possibly option a java ape man option b cro magnon option c hedel but uh, but or option d peking man so the right answer is option b that is cro magnon so the most recent and direct prehistoric ancestor of present man was possibly cro magnon so here we can see cro magnon were an early form of modern humans that are homo sapiens who lived in europe from about 40000 to 10000 years ago so cro magnon were characterized by their broad face and tall structure so here we can see the next question that is question number 16 the cro magnon people were option a homo sapiens option b homo sapiens uh, <coughs> nindertalensis or option c homo erectus or option d homo habilis As, and the right answer about the cro magnon people were option a that is they are homo sapiens okay so let's move on to question number 17 that is 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एंड एनाटोमिक चेंज फ्रॉम एप टू होमोसेपियंस एंड ऑप्शन आर ऑप्शन ए फ्रॉम लॉकिंग टू नॉन लॉकिंग नी जॉइंट ऑप्शन बी फ्रॉम अ लॉन्ग थिन पेल्विस टू अ बोल लाइक पेल्विस ऑप्शन सी फ्रॉम फ्लैट टू आउट फिट और ऑप्शन डी फ्रॉम ऑप्सिबल टू नॉन ऑप्सिबल बिग टोस तो विच वन इज नॉट एन एनाटोमिक चेंज फ्रॉम एप टू होमोसेपियंस एंड द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन A that is from locking to non-locking knee joint is not an anatomical change from ape to Homo sapiens. Okay, so let's move on to question number eighteen. It is the substantial increase of free oxygen in the primordial atmosphere on Earth was due to option A photosynthesis by green plants, option B collision of meteors. Option C, rocks warmed by radioactive decay, or option D, photo periodism. So, which one is the right one? That is, option A is the right one. That is, photosynthesis by green plants. So, the substan substantial increase of free oxygen in the primordial atmosphere on Earth was due to photosynthesis by green plants. Okay. So, the next one is question number nineteen. That is reproductive isolation in sympath uh, sympatric speciation develops without a option A geographic barrier, option B barrier to gene flow, option C change in chromosome, or option D barrier to mating. And the right one is option A. That is geographical barrier. So reproductive isolation in sympatric speciation develops without a geographic barrier understand so here we will see sympatric speciation from the greek same place involves the splitting of an antrus ancestral species into two or more reproductively isolated group without geographic isolation of those groups okay this is known as sympatric speciation okay so the last question of this video that is Sympatric speciation occurs most commonly in option A mammals, option B plants, option C birds, or option D fishes. And the right one is option B, that is in plants. So sympatric speciation occurs most commonly in plants. Okay, so these are all 20 questions of this part one video on evolution. So thank you for watching this video.